We got more money. Um, oh, does that mean we have more problems? Yeah, we have a large Gosh, amount of darn more problems. It. So, more strength. More absorption. More energy. And... That sounds like me after going to the gym for a week. <laughs> uh, well, these are all complete. I don't know why I keep going in. I've never them. done that, by the way. You should try it's, it. It's fictitious. You should try it. The gym? The gym is, in fact, fictitious. Yeah. I uh, mean, like, I've heard of him, but I've never been to his place. Sounds oh, like a nice guy. Our Raphael is so much better now. It is. Eh, I'll do this one just because I like to do that. Sweet. Eh, what the hell? Man, we're low on BP again. Weird. Eh, I'm not even going to touch this. No, I just... Really like um... Okay, um... Let's do this. There is no fate but what we make. <laughs> something, something, the Terminator sent back in time to kill John Connor. Born to be Mr. Thunderbolt. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, you can make a full throttle joke. Step on it! Let's find out who they are! I never played that. It's gonna happen. That game is so I effing good. I've heard great things, so I'd like to. I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on Colorado! I don't know how to pronounce Colorado. <laughs> it's like squirrel. You mean squirrel? <laughs> yeah, squirrel. Squirrel. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> this looks like a good place for a boss fight. Spoilers. Oh, we're fighting Wolf again. Oh. oh. That's sad. Oh. Side note, Wolf kind of looks like Wolverine. Having a little heart to heart, I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Ah, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> Well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. All the contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me. There's no excuse for you. <laughs> We've all heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. It's like he's been playing the game. Decide who's right. End of story. So wait, wait, we never find out what his motivation is, do we? He's just ambivalent, kind of. Yeah, it's about the bigger picture, but I mean, whatever. Some people just want to cross swords. Um. Side note, there's actually a Jetstream, Jetstream Sam DLC for this game. Awesome! You play as him, actually. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Jetstream Sam is one of the coolest characters in this I game. I kind of like him, but right. yeah. So you get to learn a little bit more about him, I believe. Enough for killing you. But, uh... Huh? I've never played them. Oh, is he a snacker? Does he have a weakness for snacks? <laughs> well, very good. He, loves, he loves Ritz yes. crackers. Oh. I like that. Brought to you by Ritz crackers. Must you really fight? Not really. I'm just kidding. Aw. You're tearing this family apart. Wolf brings up a good point with that. <laughs> it's like, is this really necessary? Mm -hmm. Like, do we really have to do this? Yeah, but all you guys hear is woof, 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 woof. And you're like, oh, listen, I think he's saying, I like lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> okay. Let's dance. No, you should probably just fight with your swords. Also, how easy is this boss fight? Um, not so much. <laughs> this fight's actually pretty challenging. Um, Good thing you've got your lucky hat. I got my lucky hat. Um, so, um, the thing about this fight is you generally want to play it somewhat defensive. Um, you don't want to be reckless here. 
he has a large number of attacks, and it takes time to learn them and prepare for them. And he has a couple different combos, and they, the timing on them is a little bit different. I have yet to actually do a parry on him. Normally I'm pretty good at just kind of lucking into those. So I'm kind of wondering if you can even do it in the first place. By the way, this is phase two. You do this once per fight where you disarm him, and he's a dick now. Uh, well, you did just disarm him. Yeah, he has that kick there. There's no warning. He just kicks you, and it hurts. And then there's another one. So... It's... I kind of cheese this fight because I am constantly pushing forward and the light attack button, which is the block. So I'm basically, you know, doing like an attack. The thing is, if you keep pressing forward and attack, you won't actually block until an enemy attacks you, right? Mm. So I'm kind of cheesing the fight a little bit. Um, he will do that little charge attack at you to try to grab you and throw you. But that's easy enough to block just because he does telegraph it. I apologize, the part's going to go a little slow, but... Like you said, you have to play it defensively. Oh, oh, rock on the way. That's all right. That's the real boss fight. <laughs> all right, so phase two is going to end here. And uh, you notice I switched to the side at the beginning of the fight here. Mm -hmm. That's because he is vulnerable to the stun sometimes. Just kind of depends when you hit him. Like right there. So part three of the fight, uh, he tends to put a lot of distance between you and him, but then he'll quickly close that distance, so just kind of like how you saw there. He calls you pretty. He does. That's nice. He's a nice guy. Oh, sometimes he'll break his guard like that, put on blade mode, mode and just go to town, but you won't get too much of an opportunity to do that, unfortunately. Okay, so I made that look a little easy. I spent about 30 times practicing this fight. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of Don't practice. Don't give the behind the scenes stuff. So, I mean, You're I mean, just a badass. Sorry, I, the first time I played this in months. I'm just so good. <laughs> you really should have cut his arm off. That would have been poetic. Yeah. <sighs> Woof. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I really like Sam. You know, horribly disfigured us in the beginning of the game. Well, He's also the only boss that you don't just chop up to smithereens. Yeah. Um, you just kind of stab him and then walk away. He is dead. Dang. He barely had any cyborg enhancements. Was just that bad necessary? And that is a great question. Evidence inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. Well, do you... It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. Because I'm not an idiot. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. <laughs> I am going to take his sword, though. <laughs> and some of his hair. ID locked. That's from <laughs> my time. <laughs> the efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? And now I it passes on to you. In memory of Sam. All right, I'm done posing. Let's go. <laughs> Home. Oh. Fetch. Good boy. Carry that. Roger. We have less than one hour. Hurry. Roger that. I'm having quality time with my robot dog. <laughs> Gosh. Motorcycles. The, the motor. The, well. All right. Whatever. Yeah. 
So that was the end of that chapter. Very short, just the one fight, but... Is the DLC with uh, Jet Stream Sam a prequel, then? It is, actually. Okay. Yeah. That'd be I mean, it says that. that he died, but I just... Yeah, no, no. I was um, hoping. Sure. Um, I don't know. The end, maybe there's... He gets away somehow. Or... He, he got better. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, I don't know the details of it, so... Uh, a little heavy-handed and pretty obvious, but I do want to point out just the... the... I, I think it's great uh, game design, this fight here, because if you remember in Chapter 1, we fight Metal Gear Ray, and it's really awesome and over-the-top. Yeah. And then the, the first guy we run into to put us in our place is Sam. And yep. that's, that's a fight we can't win. But then they go ahead and they show later in the game you end up fighting Sam again. But this is a fight you actually can win. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of showing that Raiden's not only him himself is stronger, but you, the player, is also a better player. Even though technically you can win the first fight at all. But, mm -hmm. but uh, generally by this point you've practiced and gotten better at the game. So I, I think that's a pretty good uh, good game design on, their, on, the, uh, on Platinum's part on showing... Uh, not just character mm -hmm. development, but player development as well. I, For sure. I kind of like that touch. It's mm -hmm. it's kind of cool when you get to do that. And now, and, and also, it's not the end of the game, so it's not like okay, yay, I beat the guy who kicked my ass. Now I'm done. But now there's more still. So I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So so that's my rant. Well, it further influences how weak you were in compared to the yes. in, in comparison to the opposition you were facing when mm -hmm. the guy that took you out so quickly and easily and nonchalantly in the beginning of the game mm -hmm. isn't even the final boss. Yeah, that's true. He's just some. Um, apathetic dude with really great hair. He? Yeah. I think to to an extent you could you could almost kind of call this what's the name of the trope? A uh, Chekhov's gun where in movies or video games or mm -hmm. TV series or whatever the, the 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 trope is with good direction if you put something in mm -hmm. uh, in the movie or in a scene it better be put to use later. Sure, so if right. I have like a shotgun on the wall in right. my house right. at some point in the movie it better be fired. So in this way, like if we would have never got to confront, mm -hmm. had the opportunity to confront Sam, right. it would have seemed like just a total waste, like a really big letdown. Even if we hadn't have been able to defeat him, you you know, we'd, be we, we'd still crave that, yeah, that yeah. desire to at least see him again. That's a good point. Maybe talk to him and, you know, turn him to the good side or have him sure. taunt us and then take off and say, next time I will see you for I am the most interesting cyborg in the world <laughs> or whatever. Right, right. So, yep. But, but yeah, it was very good seeing a, kind of a melancholy some, yeah. closure, but closure nonetheless. Sure. sure, some sort of resolution with that whole. Uh, well, I think we've padded the episode enough. So, ah. uh, next chapter. <laughs>